So I'm inside the permanent trade show at ETG in Southam. I'm going to talk to Steve Brown here. We've got behind us, this is the Quasar the Vertical Machining Centre, and it's a twin pallet. So we're going to find out a little bit more about this machine. Steve, what is the capacity of it? So this machine, it's a uh, MK603. So um, part of the MK range. This is a vertical um, APC machine. Um, we also have available the, the horizontal version. Uh, this machine in front of us is a metre in X, 610 in Y and 600 in the Z. When we look at twin pallet vertical machining centres, you often find they're a lot smaller than this. Is, is there a reason that you've bought this size of machining for stock? Yeah, so naturally with, um, with what we've seen in the automation, with the robot handling solutions, um, we've seen an increase in um, production. So obviously taking a standard metre VMC, what we have in there now is an option to add more capacity. We'll come back onto automation and solutions and turnkeys in a minute. But for, for our viewers, what is the speed of this machine when, when it comes to the spindle? So what, what can they remove metal-wise and also tool changer control and the build? Because I'm interested in what Quasar offer from a build perspective. So the spec of this machine is again available in, in, in three, um, three configurations. We've bought in a high precision one. Um, so we have a 15K face and taper spindle. Um, we have a 48 tool change. 48 metre rapids and a five second chip to chip time. So not only is it big, it's pretty fast as well? Yeah, certainly, yes. All right, then, then the turnkey factor, because I know the engineering technology group are having a lot of success and you're getting involved in a lot of turnkey projects. Is that part of your, your offering here with this type of solution? Definitely, well actually this year we're celebrating 20 years as a turnkey provider um, and this type of machine just complements that. Um, so over the back we have some fixtures in, um, from Highfall, which are bespoke fixture and fittings. Um, fixtures and, and basically that would get offered out with, with this machine. So how many, if you were to, how many of these machines would you sell with a turnkey and without? How would that compare? It's difficult to judge, but obviously, um, I'd say around obviously we, we, with this business you could say is split into two, de two departments then. Um, we have our commodity machines that are sold in, and delivered every month. Then always on the back of that, the, the strength of ETG is our turnkey capability. And with this machine, with it being a vertical twin pallet machine, you could essentially do one of a few things. You could have OP1 and OP2 of part A on, in the machining area, and then you could have a completely different component on the loading station, couldn't you? So it, it is about flexibility as well as production. Yeah, definitely. You class, class this machine as having two VMCs effectively. You've got two tables to utilise them. Let's go and have a look at table number two or the loaded station. Okay, yes, have a look. So this is where it all happens. This is where the engineer would load the component tree. Yeah, that's correct. So the other side of the screen here, we'd obviously have the live spindle uh, machining and then the operator would stand here, obviously unloading, clean down, wash down and then load a raw billeting. And no risk of coolant and swarf access in this area? No, no, it's all, all fully guarded. And when it comes to a turnkey solution, would you get involved in, we talk about turnkeys, the, the, the chucks, the, the, the vices, the probing and every, every aspect? Yeah, a turnkey, the turnkey word is really dependent upon the customer. That could be anything from supplying a, a, a two axis lathe, but offering him training, offering him cutting solutions, the, the full package. Or it could be to a large OEM where we're tied up within cycle time, um, part run time, machine downtime, and everything else. So it's really dependent upon what the customer needs. And like other machines that you've got here, this machine's actually available from stock, which again, it's, you know, often you don't find a vertical machining center with tw twin pallet of this size available X stock. Okay, key, in the UK it's key. Stock is king. So we, we look to have a range of machines, not only here, but in another facility where we are to hold a lot of crazy machines. <laughs>